50% more young people are showing up at hospital yards with mental health and substance use issues today than seven years ago, but they aren't getting the type of care that they need. My name is Asante, and I've always said that the peer support process is similar to making music. Through music and support from my friends and my family, I got to overcome depression and tragedy. My name is Decisive, and collaborating on a song about my mental health journey with Asante in episode one was a key part of my recovery. Now my mission is to guide musical collaborations that will celebrate the caregivers making a difference on the front lines of mental health and addiction. Welcome to Cypher. When we talk about trauma, the body holds the memories and the stories. We see images of immigrants. Some people come from some really tough places, surviving just to get here. It's now possibly a moment for healing. Let's go. And we're here to support that. Yeah, hey, you got it. How do we show them that they're part of this community? How high can you go? He was small for his age, but his heart's enormous. Jump shots ugly, took charges, gorgeous. But something in his head tells him stay in bed. So getting up every day's an all-star performance. Dave chose a caregiver who uses movement and play to access children's mental health. Children play with Dave. Even in the city, this beautiful city that we live in, there are certain neighborhoods that don't get along with other neighborhood. Check, check. But when they come here, you're connected. There's a level of safety. But the sadness melts when his shoes go on. No telling what would happen if that hoop was gone. Cause his pain ain't a game, but he just won a ball. As long as he on the court, he could run from it all. Sometimes the passion fights the fears. Sometimes the sweat is what dries the tears. Can't see the lows when the high appears. So leave yesterday behind. When we use movement and play, it connects us to what's going on inside. Can I just hear that back? Play is the way the children experience the world. Children play. The stress tolerance, conflict resolution, problem solving. Yes, I think that ties it all together. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. So if you want to access what's going on in our minds, why not use her body? She wore you on her lips when a frown was hitting. Every photograph she was smiling in. A bruise under foundation. Mascara washed away by the tears she was drowning in. Tried to tell her friends weren't trying to listen. Her anxiety forced her to be silent with it. Her fear made her mind race a mile a minute. The one at eight six and ran a mile a minute. Tight. The right side of the brain is the creative side. The left is more logical and puts it all together. When we integrate these two sides through movement and play, kids see things in a whole new way. Sometimes the passion fights the fears. Sometimes the sweat can dry the tears. Can't see the lows when the high appears. So leave yesterday behind. Running, run away towards the pain it follows. Giving it up today to face all those tomorrows. Carrying all this weight through all this gray. My body knows to find its way from this low. Maya smiles in studio. As caregivers, we need to keep in mind that children see the world a little differently than we do. So when it comes to mental health, how do we put the ball in their court? And it's like a bit of a breakdown. First calm the child by connecting with the right side of the brain. Once you've calmed them down, they'll be so much more receptive to the left brain analytical ideas that your adult brain might be tempted to lead with. Try speaking to kids at their eye level. This removes the power dynamic and reinforces that you're in this together. Good job. Validation is also so important. I like that. Reinforcing positive behavior helps a child develop positive mental health habits. So let's take a page out of Coach Dave's playbook and see if we can turn our caregiving work into caregiving play. Oh, yeah. so run away.